Hi guys, I've just been away for a couple of weeks and I came back to a massive stash of blogger mail and I just unpacked everything. Actually, have a look at all of this. I'm so lucky that the recycling man comes straight to me but they must absolutely hate me because I always have so much to throw out. Anyway, I've just unpacked everything and I was about to put everything away and I thought, why don't I share with you what I've received? So, here we go. Right, first up, Whenever I get these pink envelopes, I know it's from Lee Stafford and I love Lee Stafford's hair range. This time I got a few things. The first range that I got is the Bigger, Fatter, Fuller range, which I'm surprised I haven't tried yet because I'm really into big hair and I love the smell of this. I actually used this the other day and my hair did feel really oomphy. Um, after the shampoo and conditioner, I also used this Bigger, Fatter, Fuller plumping cream. Really love this. The next lot I haven't tried yet in fact, most of the stuff in this video I haven't tried yet because I've literally just unboxed it. But I got the Air Dry Cream Light, which is to moisturise and soften um, and smooth for polished texture. So I'm going to give that a go. And from the Air Dry range, I also got the Foam. And then, this was quite interesting. I always do mud masks on my face and I never thought to do one on my hair. And this is a sea salt mud mask for your hair. So I look forward to trying that. Uh, next up, from... Sienna X, sorry I'm going to keep reaching over there to get stuff, from Sienna X, which I haven't tried yet, although I'm a big fake tan fan, um, I got the Radiance Body Balm and then the Q10 Self Tan Tinted Mousse, and this one developed, so I'll let you know how I get on with that. I'm quite tanned right now, so I'm going to have to wait till my tan fades a bit. And then another tanning brand that I have had my eye on, I've seen it all over Instagram, but I haven't tried anything yet, and it's Tan Lux. And they sent me their sleep oil, which is a rejuvenating miracle tanning oil. And it's one of those that develops overnight, so you can put it on. Let's see what it looks like. Put it on, it's in a nice little pipette bottle. Um, and it'll develop a nice tan overnight. So again, I'm going to wait for my tan to fade. And I'll let you know how I get on with that. And it was really sweet. This actually came with a rose quartz. And I'm actually really into my crystals, so I'm going to add this to my... Uh, crystal tray because I actually have one of those with another rose quartz on it. So that was really lovely from Tan Lux. And then Mina sent me a few things and I've actually always had my eye on Mina and they have sent me a few things before. Um, I absolutely love the packaging and they've got a little display in Selfridges that I always go and play with. Anyway, they sent me this, I think it's a gel liner and it's not your typical black, it's a nice dark brown. And what I'm most excited about with what they sent me is this eye gloss and it's a really nice dark purple colour and I'm really into eye glosses. I love Gillian Dempsey's lid tints and um, so I'm going to have a play with that and let you know how I get on. And then they also sent me a couple of brow kits. So they come like this in their nice um, packaging and there's a gel and then also a powder and then you get tweezers and two different brushes. The brand that I absolutely love is Emma Hardy. I have nearly finished up my hyaluronic spray from her which I adore. I literally put it on every single day during my holiday and it saved me on the flight back which was 12 hours. Anyway, this is her new product. It's a lift and sculpt firming neck treatment. And I'm only 30 and I am actually thinking actively about taking care of my neck now. So now whenever I do my face, I always bring product down my neck and sweep it upwards. So I'm going to have fun using this. And another beauty brand that I absolutely love and I've actually been using a lot more recently is by Bee Beauty. I've been on one of their workshops actually where you make um, some beauty products. They're all natural beauty products. I've also got their book with lots of, um, lots of great recipes of beauty products that you can make at home. And they've just sent me the Prime Time, Prime Time and Babe Balm. I have tried the Prime Time before and I have it, but it's in a jar. And these are now in tubes. Also, how cute is this packaging? So these are now in tubes, so great for travelling. And actually I wanted to take away some prime time with me when I went on holiday, but the jar was just too big. So that's perfect for next time I go away. Again, look at the packaging, so cute. So I've got the new prime time, and also the Babe Balm, which is their like iconic, iconic product. And again, cute packaging, and in a squeezy tube. So I'm very excited about that. Some more skincare. This one's from Bio Essence, and I've got the 24... Um, carrot bio gold night cleanser and day cleanser so the night cleanser says that it's uh, to pamper yourself with a luxurious cleansing experience and it's going to deeply cleanse and nourish dull and tired skin after a long day I'm gonna be using this after this video because I've been out and about all day 
hence the slightly disheveled state. And the day cleanser, let's see what this is for. It prepares the skin for better skincare absorption and makeup adherence. So yeah, I'll try that in the morning. Right, uh, I've got to lean over there to get a big package. Da, 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 da. And this is from IIAA, which is the International Institute for Anti-Aging. And as far as I'm aware, I think they represent three brands. I've had a couple of packages from them before. Um, one of them is Jane Iredell, a new makeup brand that I've been trying because they sent me stuff last time. And I've really been loving their powder highlight. It's a compact with lots of different strips of different colours and it is a gorgeous highlight. I'm actually wearing it today, if you can see. Ooh, look at the glow. Anyway, I've got a few more things from her. Um, I haven't looked at what it is yet, so I'm gonna have a look now. Naturally Glam Eyeshadow Kit. Let's have a look at this. Uh, another thing about Jane Ida, I absolutely love the packaging. Look how sleek that is. It's kind of a, a rose gold. And let's look at the shadows. Yep, my kind of colors. Really nice colors. They're kind of neutral, shimmery, gold, plum pink. Yep, really like that. And, I don't know if you can tell, this is really slim. So it's a nice one to carry around. Uh, Just Kissed Lip Plumper Volumizer. Oh, really nice dark plum. I think there's a bit of shimmer in there. Should I swatch it for you? Let's do a bit of a swatch. Okay, so it's going to be more of a sheer glossy finish. Really nice. That's going to be a nice one for autumn. Yes, autumn's here. I am mourning the loss of summer. Okay, so we've got a Jane Iredell blush. Again, with the swoosh rose gold packaging. Oh, really cute. So it's kind of a baby pink with, I think there's a bit of shimmer running through that. I'll have to see what that looks like on my complexion. I might have to wait till I've lost my tan a bit. Oh, it's a red, guys. Let's do a little swatch for you. Okay, so this one is definitely more pigmented. Look at that. Wow. Love that colour. It's got a bit of a sheen to it. Not quite as glossy and sheer as the other finish. I'm sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna love that. And it's a really slim one, so good for your handbag. And then the IIAA, I think they also represent Environ. And they sent over a body toning gel last time, which is really nice and refreshing. And this time I've got a Sebi Wash cleanser. So I've got lots of cleansers to try. They also sent me this Skin Acumax from Advanced Nutrition Program. And look at the packaging for a food supplement. That is pretty nice, isn't it? I don't know how I feel about food supplements. Um, I know a lot of people take them. But I'm just not convinced yet. Maybe I'm going to have to start with these. And they're just so cute. Because it's getting colder and it's autumn, they sent me some fluffy socks with that. And it's actually quite cold in the flat, so I'm sure I'm going to put those right on after this video. And they also sent it with a pegboard, which I'm going to have a lot of fun with. I'm sure you're going to see this on my uh, Instagram. If you're not following me, it's Little Miss Plumfall. Go follow me. I post loads on there. Went to a couple of events, actually, since I've been back. And I've got some goodie bags to show you. First up is a Korean inspired brand called Julep and that is launching on QVC in January and I went for breakfast with the CEO and founder and it was really really nice, she explained a bit more behind the brand and I've got some skincare and some makeup. I actually had to go grab this skincare out of my bathroom because I've actually been using it already, I couldn't wait. Um, so I've got a hydrating cleansing oil, I really enjoyed using that, it's very similar to uh, one that I got when I was in Asia, so I really liked that. I also have the detoxifying cleansing stick, I love anything in a stick format. Um, I think I actually preferred the oil texture wise to that, but that's quite good for travel. And then I also have this um, rosehip seed facial oil, I tried Love Makes My Skin Feel Beautiful, I also tried this already. See. I didn't even screw that back on properly. It's the Night Shift Deep Sleep Facial Mask. I haven't left it on overnight. I left it on for about an hour and it feels gorgeous on the skin. This I haven't tried yet. It is the Restorative Facial Milk. So watch this space for a full review on Julep. I want to use it for a bit longer to see how I feel. And then they also have loads of makeup that I haven't actually tried yet. So what have we got here? Lash Boosting Bamboo Mascara. Bamboo Mascara. Well, I have not got anything like that before. Look at this packaging. Love that. Oh, there's two parts to it. I don't want to open it because I always feel that once air goes into mascara, then you have to start using it. And I've got other mascaras I need to use. But that is very, oh, I wonder what that does. Can you see the top part is moving separate from that part? Hmm, interesting. I have got a long lasting eyeliner. So that is a standard black. It looks quite, um, like it's going to be quite gel-like. I've got another eyeliner here. Let's see what colour that is. 
This one is Smoky Plum. Oh, I love anything Smoky and Plum. This will probably go well with that Mina eye gloss. Let's have a look. Oh, that is beautiful, dark. Let's swatch it for you. Oh, that is dreamy. I'd say it's more of a midnight black blue than a plum. It actually wiped on really, really nicely. So that looks nice and soft and easy to use. I'm excited to try that. These are all um, lip crayons. Full coverage, so they must be highly pigmented. Oh, that is a nice packaging. So it's got kind of a chrome finish. I do love, um, oh, I do love crayons, but look at that, I didn't expect that. It's got one part, a white part in the middle surrounded by color, let's swatch that. So it must be really nourishing, because I imagine the middle part is a balm, and then it's surrounded by the pigment. Very nice. Oh no, this is a matte lip mousse. So that looks like really nice nude color, easy to wear. I do need to read the press release to find out a bit more about these products and what have I got here. This is another lip mousse. This one's a bit brighter. I do like my bright lips. Oh, one more goodie bag, let me grab it. My ring light fell over. Oh, right, we're back in action. I don't usually go to foodie events. I usually stick to beauty events and sometimes fashion events, but I did go to Pierre Marcolini event and Pierre Marcolini is a chocolatier. He was showing us his new collections and they are incredible. It's like a piece of art. It looks so beautiful that you don't even want to eat it. Well, I did eat it and it was delicious. We smelt the different cocoa beans and then we tasted the chocolate from the different cocoa beans and then we had to kind of discuss what we were tasting. And we tried three. One was, I think, 65%, the other one was like 70 and the other one was 85%. And the one that was 85% I thought had been mixed with milk because it was really, really creamy, but it wasn't. It was 85% cocoa. And that shows that the cocoa can be sourced from different places to get that diff those different tastes. It was, it was really interesting. Anyway, shall I show you what I got from him? Because, you know, obviously I'm going to become a chocolatier. I got a an apron. Oh, I don't even cook that much. But I now have an apron. <laughs> and then I have a casse-noisette with the casse-noisette spread, which is like a fancy Nutella, I imagine. But it's very French. The French love the... Um, tartine and spreading chocolate on toast and whatnot. I'm French so I can say that. And then I got this lovely notebook. I love it when they add extra stuff in. And then most excitingly, all oh, these beautiful chocolates. See what I mean? They're just too pretty to eat. Um, actually go on my Instagram because I put up a picture of the incredible Christmas collection from him. Right. I think we've just about covered it all for now anyway until I receive more stuff. Let me know if you like this kind of video, if you want to see what I get or if you want me to just wait until I've tried the stuff to review it. Um, thanks for watching. Like I said before, go follow me on my Instagram, it's Little Miss Plumful. Usually as soon as I receive something I'll pop it up on in Insta stories or I'll do a little post so that's probably the first place to see what I receive. Um, yeah, thanks for sticking with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!